Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible and today I'm gonna to show you how to build a lead generation funnel using the high level platform. Let's get stuck in. So if you're new to high level, you haven't heard about it before, it's a fantastic tool. We use it, we also promote it heavily, which is why they gave us a 30 day free trial, which is specific to us rather than the standard 14 days. So if you are looking at getting started after this video, there'll be a link up here you can click um, and use and get a little bit extra for free. So enjoy. So we have used the tool Unbounce to create our landing pages and funnels for a very long time now. But recently inside my community, there has been people that have said, listen, Dan, can you show us how to create what you do in Unbounce over at high level? So today I'm gonna to show you, you know, basically how to do that and what that looks like from scratch. Plus, I'm also gonna throw in how to set up your domain in high level. Without further ado, I'm gonna hand you over to my account manager, Graham, who looks after all my tech stuff. And he's gonna help show you how to do this from start to finish, step by step. It's gonna be everything you need to do. And with that, you can, you know, start running leads, generating leads, segmenting leads, doing whatever you want with it this stuff that Graham's about to show you is really high value, good stuff. So I hope you enjoy and I'll speak to you later. Hey guys, uh, cheers for that Dan. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a, a quick tutorial on how to use the Go High Level Funnel Builder. Now we usually use Unbounce because it's um, we find it a lot easier to use uh, a lot more user friendly, um, but there's been a lot of uh, chatter in our community about people wanting to use the Go High Level Funnel Builder, which is still good. It's still good. It's basically like a, a similar to ClickFunnels. Um, so the purpose of this video is just to kind of show you how to transfer an Unbounce page over to uh, a Go High Level uh, funnel. Um, so it's all in kind of one place with you know your surveys your forms all, all, all that kind of stuff this is just, just going to be the video on the funnel build uh, and i think on the next video is going to be on uh, the surveys and the forms and creating them and linking it all up um so yeah guys let's get started uh, and i'll get stuck in so this is the page in unbounce that we're going to copy basically uh, it's a sub brand one of our brand pages um so i'm going to put over here um, and I'm going to show you just how, how to start from scratch. We've got a couple, couple in here already, um, but we're going to just start with a new funnel. Now, one thing you might might want to go and do is you want to go. You might want to go to the template library, uh, as there's loads of different uh, templates you can use to start off with. Um, for you can browse your categories. So if you're in financial, you can see some stuff in financial, banking, investment, um, insurance as well. Um, as you can see, so they're all set up for you, and they've also got the home services as well. So you've got like your free solar quote, electrician, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to just start it from scratch because I've already got a basis that I want to work with. Um, so I'm just going to uh, name it um, name it that. To create the funnel. Now the way it works, if you haven't, if you used um, click funnels before. It'll be pretty simple. If you haven't, then it's kind of like works as a funnel. So you have steps that you create. Um, so we'll do the quiz page first. Quiz. And then we'll just create the funnel step. So we've got our first stage of our funnel. This is the first page. This is where they'll go to from the ad or wherever you're gonna send them. Um, but just a quick show you around this funnel area. So once you start running traffic, you'll be able to see stats here. Uh, so you'll be able to see uh, like all the views and all the um, conversion rates as in who goes to the next stage. Sales, if you've got uh, an e-com or add, added on, uh, you can see them here. We're probably not gonna do that today because it's a lead gen. And here is where you can um, set up your domain, uh, add your favicon, which is the little icon next to the thing here. And here's where you can add um, your Google Tag Manager uh, to the whole funnel so you don't have to add it to each each step. Um, cool, and then obviously, yeah, testing live for payment mode is there, but we'll ignore that for now. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll go out to steps, and then we're gonna go and uh, create from blank, basically. This will be a basic one. Um, I'm not uh, the best web designer, so don't um, judge me for anything. It's just uh, just basically showing you around how how to use stuff. Um, so this is like the blank the blank slate. Uh, we'll start with a full a full width row up here. This will be our header. So on the Unbounce page, I think there was four, 
Cool. So um, in the row section, so the green bit is the row, um, purple is the element, and um, the blue is the column. So you have different different settings for each. I'm going to click on the row a bit here, which is the green bit. Make sure the green bit is um, highlighted. And I'm going to do this top, top, top bar as allow rows to take entire width. So that's all good. Then I'm going to start populating. Uh, so add element. I'm going to, I'm going to go to image. Uh, I'm going to click there. You scroll down and the image is here. Whoa. Click there. You can upload your files here. I've already uploaded most of the files I'm going to need. So I'm going to pop in our our logo. Uh, then I'm going to go to another image. And I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go and select this one. I'm going to go here. Add another image here. And then I'm going to go and get our secure sign in. Um, now you can start um, messing around with these. So you can start dragging without making them too small this one is going to be small over there I want this one over here as well uh, cool uh, so next up I'm gonna take off some of the padding uh, just to make sure that it's not that it's uh, nice and flush there we go so that's kind of our, our banner up our, our bar up the top um, then something else I'm going to go and do just to make sure it's uh, looking good. Uh, when you can't, so now I can't select row because I've taken all the padding off, so I can't select it here. You can go to rows up here, manage, um, select that column row, manage sections, sorry, manage section, that's the section. Um, now what I'm going to want to go and do now is just have a little bit of a box shadow, just to give it that little bit of um separation from the main the main stuff like the main text uh, and then we can crack on and do a new section so we're just gonna manage that make sure you've selected the section cool I'm gonna add a new section for width so now that's underneath so this is the, this is the new section I'm gonna go build out the above the fold element so I'm gonna go one column first this is gonna be our headline pop in headline uh, now here uh, you're going to want to go to settings and you want to go to typography now here's where you can set your fonts um, so we we use poppins for this so you go find poppins or your font in the google fonts should I should, I should have most most of them there um, there it is and i'm going to go and put poppins in there and here you can um dictate your link colors here but you can do it at, at the text level as well but it's just might, might make it a bit quicker so done that so I'm going to add in my headline. Now you're going to want some kind of like some some brand guidelines here to keep it um, concise and the same. So headlines are going to be 50, 50 there, and then uh, then you want to get your colours in as well. So we need our brand colours in. So you can do this by adding them here. blue and then we want aren't we? orange get that hex color add color cool so we're going to do the text headlines as blue but i want to make the bottom bit stand out so i'm going to put that in italics and then i'm going to go down to italic text color and choose orange and then we've got that there, so that's all good. Then I'm going to want to add another uh, subheadline, which again is should be the same. Just copy over the text. If you haven't got any, if you haven't got any, anything to copy over, then obviously just write the text in uh, like normal. Uh, let's make that bold. Cool. Uh, I'm going to italics that and italics that. Italic color like that. So I've changed the italic color to that bold color to black still. Um, so let's just get that a bit of separation there. Yeah, so that looks good to me. Space there. Cool. 
So that's that. You can, uh, I think, go to advanced and do the line height to. So you can change it here. Uh, I may do um, 1.7. And then if it's getting weird spacing, you can then go back to general and you can go to padding. So padding on the top, let's put 20. And I'm padding on the bottom, let's do 20 as well. And then that should work. And I'm gonna just gonna go back and I'm gonna make that two actually, line height two. Next up is another subheadline, which is gonna have uh, no context details required. I'm gonna unbold that. Now I'm gonna go make uh, the bold color uh, orange. And I'm also going to add an icon in. I there we go. A little bit more separation there. Um, just to give you, just to show you again, this is what we're copying. This bit here. So it's just quite simple, just with this builder to do that. Um, the background. You can change the background of the text box here. Uh, I'm going to use. Um, Another different grey. Cool. And then just going to do some padding. Let's do 10. There we go. And then I'm going to do a slight border. Uh, background color, advanced border. No border. Here it is. So let's go to uh, full border. Have a black border. Let's see what that looks like. A bit too solid. We'll go one. That should that should look better. Okay. So that's that. So that's the first bit done. Uh, and then obviously next up, one column, new column. Now here we have a a lead to quiz. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in there. I'm gonna leave this blank for the time being because what we're gonna add in here in the next video is gonna be the survey, um, which is built in high level as well. So you're using all of high level, so you know, you're, you've are you got no other tech stack, you're just using high level. Um, so we're gonna leave that empty for now. Um, and then we're going to create a new section and make sure it's the new section. Cool, so then here when we can, now we can crack on with uh, our kind of like our information below the quiz. Um, so we're going to do one, add a headline, cool. make that bold, bold color text, uh, bold color text there. Obviously our headlines are 15. Uh, cool. Just before we get start get, get going, you're doing this on desktop, okay? Um, so you also want to check out mobile. This is what it's looking like. So we are going to have to play around with mobile. So here you can turn them off if on mobile. So I'm not going to have that one. I'm not going to have this one on mobile. Um, and that I would prefer that up next to. Should be fine. Uh, this is a little bit too big, so here's where we can go and amend mobile sizes. Here, let's go about right, 20 is too small, 30 is looking good. This is way too big. <laughs> So the line height doesn't look good on there, so we'll have to amend that now as well. So I'm going to put that back down to 1.3. Have a little space in there. So that should be good. This is a little bit too big as well. Mobile font size 18. Yep, that looks good. Cool. And now let's just so mobile. We're going to go with thirty, I think, for 
perfect cool so you always check back to mobile as well because otherwise it takes you a long time after you've done the whole desktop you made it perfect then you forget about mobile and you're like oh nightmare so anyway and we'll do that as we go now we've got some paragraph underneath this cool so now we want to get this up to 18 and it's a little bit too close to the edge so i'm going to start playing around with this uh actually let's go here attacking okay that looks a bit better looks a bit more forward again if it's too close always you use your padding padding from the bottom 20 let's do 40. cool so that looks good to me um, then we want to add a new column and then actually let's sometimes you can make use of just duplicating which is sometimes a bit easier so you can press this clone button here um, which just basically makes a brand new column for you and then you can go and amend so the next one is has been seen on I think we need a little bit more of a break here so margin 40 again it, the, this one's already been set with the margin so that's good here we're going to want to get rid of that and we're going to do an image and then here we want to click here and this is the as seen on image there so that's all good so uh next up we've got another section full width again when you're on the section you can go to background color uh, and do that uh, so this is a three column of images i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the edge as well uh, obviously design is completely preferential up, up to you guys um, but i'm just showing you how to do each component hopefully it, it, it's hit pretty much every component you're going to need And as I said, I'm 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 not an expert in in design, and this is pretty simple um, for me to do. So it should it should be okay for you guys. Cool. So that's that. Add a new one, and then I think this is the final little bit. So we've got uh, two column element image and you go again when you're in the image so this is where you're going to do most of your setting work in the left hand side so as you can see this is this is that you're in the image now uh, you want to select the image um, I've uploaded them all already so that's really there and then on the next side we're going to have one headline uh, which is here now that is 30 on mobile 50 on that's a bit too big for this and maybe we'll make it a sub headline size of 30 that makes sense uh, it's bolded so we'll go to bold make that blue and for this purpose we're going to do this and then we've got paragraph and then let's just this out cool so that's that's done so again you want to come across to here and you want to start doing your colors so i'm gonna say want to get this up to 18 first and i want to make sure that it's aligned correctly i'm going to do a bit of padding on the right just to push it in a little bit cool that's all good and then the colors so let's go to 20. Perfect. Um, so let's go italics like so. That's all good. Now I want to just give a bit of space underneath the title. So padding bottom, let's go 25. So that's that. Um, then we want to do one more thing, which is we want to add a button. Um, call to action. Uh, let's align that there. You can go to themes here in, in buttons. So you can pick a nice theme that you might like. Let me click that theme there because it's nice and rounded. Uh, and then in advance, you can do all this cool stuff like effects. So we can have rocking, which I believe is just like that. 
You can do whatever you want, really. Uh, mid shadow. That's on the back of the button. I like a hard shadow there. And you can have a border if you so wish. I'm not going to have a border on this one. And then I want to go and make it branded. Pop that on there. Text shadow, have a light fade. I think that's it for that section. Two more sections to go. Uh, here we want to first, I've got a background color there. And I want uh, two columns. And again, I'm going to make this a uh, full circle. And I'm going to do a paragraph. Just see the size. Finally, I'm going to align to the left color. It's going to be white. And I'm going to make this bold. We don't want bold, we want white as well. And then also we want to bring it in from the side a little bit like so and then here you want to add another button as well uh, so again you want to go to themes I picked that one last time advanced no effect this time I'm going to do a wobble over has a little hot a uh, little action when you hover over it which makes it look like a button which is pretty cool uh, mid shadow let's have a hard shadow uh, and then brand it up I'm go with white the text color is down here I'm going to go with orange and we're going to do today. We're going to change that text here. Perfect. And then we're going to go full width again. New section, add row. Uh, it's going to be uh, one column. And this is going to be the footer. So I'm going to go all black. Ah, wrong one row section we're gonna go all the way and we're gonna go all black so then we start off one uh, the art make image there again select the image go to like so add paragraph I want to go up to color, white, also bold, white, and also I think there's a link in there. Let's make the link white as well. Make sure it looks nice. That's that, and obviously add your links in here, where you can link up here. So. That's that. Um, so that's basically how we create a funnel inside high level. Uh, uh, this one has been moved. Um, right, so now that's all done. So as you can see, uh, we want to press uh, save. Now what we want to also do is we want to go into SEO metadata. Don't forget to do this for the quiz page. So you want to add in your title uh, keywords that you may have and then a description there and you can kind of see what it looks like on Google if someone searched it update metadata that's all good um, and then we've got any custom CSS you want to add tracking code you can add tracking code in the header and footer depending on what you want to do um, and also the background you can have a big image or whatever it's up to you guys so next up, what we want to do is we want to go and check the mobile site. So obviously we want to go to advanced, turn these off from mobile. Back secure there, but obviously not. So we're just going to have the art make uh, thing there. Third column. Bottom, let's do 10. And padding top, let's do 10. Cool, that's our Meg. So, here we can take off some of the padding at the top. I just want to make sure this isn't affecting too badly. 
something like this. Keep keep any padding that we have on there. Um, so this looks okay here. Obviously, that, that's where the survey is going to go. Scroll down. That's about getting a nice balance here. Okay, cool. You've got your steps there. That looks good. And here. Cool. Okay, so that's all done. Next up, we want to link up the buttons. Um, so ideally, we want an element in here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop in um, HTML for the time being, like so. Custom code one. I'm gonna name it custom code one. Now we want the buttons to jump up to the survey or the quiz. So we want to select here, scroll down. We want to go to uh, scroll to element. We want to select the element, uh, and now you want to find custom code one. There we go. So that's going to there, and again we want to do the same for this one. We want to scroll to element custom code one um, that should be the survey obviously in the next video I'll show you how to do that um, so that's all good press save and now always preview see what if there's any design changes that you may want to do um, so obviously this is un undefined that will be uh, a survey underneath there um, you know for the um, purposes of this I'm just gonna might as well open code editor add in my lead hook quiz that we have there and press preview so now it should open up a, a lead hook quiz there so okay so here you can see you, you you've got your top bar there you've got your um, headline sub headline your uh, notification there your quiz or your survey will go there then you've got bits and pieces down here that you can have a look at so yeah so that's basically how you build a funnel um well the, for the first part, part of a funnel um obviously we're going to come back here and then but yeah so that's how you basically create a um a page on high level then creating the f funnel uh you can just press and press um you can add new step or if you want to use any elements here you can go to clone funnel step and you want to search for locations and you want to find your, your location that you're in and then you want to find what you've called this so it's a template unbounce quiz funnel and select let's select it steps this is a clone so you can go in and again you want to go into uh, publishing you want to change it to if it's a results page a results page if it's a thank you page a thank you page totally up to you change the step path update step and now I'm, I'm just going to go build this page uh, I'll pause this and build this page quickly uh, you don't you don't want to be built anymore um, and I'll show you how the funnel can work okay cool so I've cloned the I've cloned the quiz page and made two other pages in this funnel which is the results page and the thank you page um, so basically what will happen is they'll go firstly land on the quiz page uh, there'll be a survey on this page uh, where they fill it in and then they'll go and that will automatically send them to the next step which is the results page uh, let's get this up quickly it's good to bear in mind that um, you can personalize these pages with personal Im information especially when they're using the go high level survey with the funnel uh, because it'll save all their information and any uh, custom field that you've got you can add it into the copy um, so this is like the results page a um, little bit of uh, text here obviously a bit, of, a bit more information so that's all been built out very similar to how I did it before just making sure the columns either one or two uh, or three columns uh, if you want to go further across the page I uh, remember you can do it here allow rows to take the entire width um, it's the only, only, only annoying thing with guide is you can't like move things around like it has to be quite linear or uh, you have to rely on um, uh, you know alignments to get it all looking nice whereas on unbounce you can literally just put things anywhere you want um, but it's still it, 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 as you see as you can see it does a job like this looks pretty similar to our unbounce page um, uh, and then if we just go to the thank you page quickly 
uh, and this is basically where they hit after they filled in um, so here there'll be a form so we'd have the survey on the quiz page that will send them here then there'll be a form here that's going to collect their name email and phone number because this is a results uh, a request to results page funnel which basically means there's a little bit of um an, an added in page rather than say if you just if you just did quiz to thank you you'd have the form inside the, the survey which i'll show you in the next video anyway um but yeah that's where the form would go so they would fill that out if you have any cool call to actions again you want to send it up to the form um, and then here is a thank you page so here I've actually used a personalization so this is the first one I've used it but you can use whatever you want it's just the first name putting it in there um, to personalize it a little bit you can add any any data that you've captured in that survey you can add into this page um, so as you can see got a quick thank you page up uh, and yeah, so it works like that. So yeah, more you can you can use uh, the Go High Level Funnel Builder, no problems at all. This is kind of how how you do it, how you can create pages on there. I have loads of great templates in the template library, so I would check those out. The domain you've got to set the domain up in your DNS settings. So if you bought the domain on say somewhere like GoDaddy, they will have a section called DNS settings, and you want to follow the instructions inside High Level. It's pretty simple to set up. You, you just need a C name and a subdomain. So the C name basically it's a C name record. You should be able to select it in your DNS settings. Uh, you need a subdomain, so something like get dot then your domain. Uh, cr you can create that and they they tell you how to do it in high level uh, if you are struggling with getting the domain up um, drop a comment below uh, and I'll and I can quickly do a loom video for you guys just to show you how how, how to do it but yeah that's how we we build funnels in uh, high level uh, as I said they're, they're, they're pretty good uh, tune in uh, I think next Tuesday uh, I am dropping the video on how to create surveys based off of our lead to qu qu quizzes that's got uh, decision making abilities in there and then I'll show you how to add it into your funnel and then I'll bring it all together to show you how, how it works uh, okay guys thanks a lot for listening I know it's been a long one sorry about that um, but yeah I'll see you in the next video cheers guys all right, so if you've enjoyed this video, it's actually part one of a little mini series we're doing. Next week or in a couple of days time, we're gonna get Graham to show you how to create a survey tool within High Level, which is kind of an inbuilt feature that they have. And this allows you to kind of segment and uh, be able to sell leads to different clients based on criteria. Um, you can send them to different pages depending on the answers that they give, all of that type of cool stuff. So please do watch out for that. Please um, also uh, hit the like button if you've liked this video so we know to create more like it. Please also comment if you've got any questions about what we're doing here with High Level. And lastly, subscribe to our channel um, so you'll be the first to know whenever new, any new videos come out. I'll speak to you soon.